hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can see i have a new cage which i have purchased um, for snowball and as you can see she's inside she's having a nice eat sorry guys just trying to bend down to her and um, as you can see oh she's eating spinach guys so i have a nice silver bowl for her for her spinach and uh, there's another one there with sweet corn and mixed veg in it next to her is her water bottle and down i the reason i've kept her seeds down and her millets is because she prefers eating from the bottom and not standing um on the perch and eating um as you can see she's sitting and she's eating her spinach so that's her seeds on the top as well and uh, let's get to the other side and I'll just show it to you. I just want to get a quick glimpse guys. I want you to just look at her and her behavior. As she... So when she eats spinach, she carries on like she's having a bath. Can you see that? See, so one is her vegetable like I said, so it has sweet corn, green beans. There's a mixture of vegetables, uh, peas as well in there. Um, so I've mixed that up for her. So as you can see, you can see the peas, sweet corn, carrots, and that's her spinach. Look at her, look at her how she's looking at me. She's ever so ready to pounce on me. But she'll never bite, she doesn't bite, but she just, she does that whenever I go near her. So you can see, see, look at her. She's going into. Hey! Snowball! Snowball! No! What are you doing? Stop it! Naughty girl. As you can see, so she was eating some spinach there. So, this is her view, her beautiful view she has outside. Uh, just take a quick glimpse to her. Ah, let's have a look at her. Look at her! Snowball! Snowball! <laughs> she's ever ready. Look at her. Look at the eyes. Actually, the pink. I need to get a quick glimpse at her so I can show you what she's doing. She wants to go inside the spinach and have a bath. So that's her being happy and content obviously. For the past two days she's been um, exploring the cage, the new cage. It's been up and down and just sometimes just sitting on the above um, of the cage here. And uh, usually when I ask her what do you want, she taps on the door which is above her asking us to open it up for her. So you can see guys, she's in her seeds, and she's having a good, good eat there, see? So as you can see on the red peg, as you can see on one side, I've kept roti for her. So roti is a type of bread that uh, I make at times, which is healthy, it's very healthy. So I give her now whenever I make uh, at home, so I give her, which is good for her as well. And she likes it. She likes bread as well. Uh, I don't give too much, but just brown bread okay guys so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you inside and we're gonna have a look at um the inside uh, interior of our other birds and you can let me know and like i said guys uh, the last video i made about the fish you guys didn't yet lock in your answers on which one you'd like me to purchase next please let me know so let's head outside and have a look so guys as you can see i'm just close by to I just want to have a look at her and see how she's reacting I'm just scared that every time when I go close to her she kind of turns away from the camera we'll try that one more time again so guys <laughs> we got her to turn this side again so you can just have a nice good look at her and as you can see she's enjoying the view outside and we have a beautiful weather today the sun is out there's no cloud in the sky and um, 
it's nice and hot so I'm not sure how long this is gonna last but we will have to see okay guys so as you know I also give give you an update on the fish as well and I have gotten some new ones as you can see my fish tank is a bit full um, we still have our I will still have our goldfish which is there there well it's a he I, I would suggest because I've had him for a very long time and I haven't um, gotten any eggs from him. so it's a male anyway guys um, so as you can see I've got some new ones as you, you can just see the spine of the other ones that I've gotten I've got some orange guppies as well as you can see they're all different type um, but they can manage with the guppies in the tank so when purchasing you have to you have to make sure that whichever fish you have in your fish tank you don't mix them with other fish that could be a potential danger to them could eat them in any way or hurt them so make sure you get friendly fish that you are able to put together in the fish tank uh, like mollies um, guppies I've gotten a goldfish and people usually say goldfish doesn't um, won't be able to stay with guppies people are quite surprised that I've got a goldfish that's with my guppies and my mollies as well uh, as you can see they're very pretty I like the colors as well because we've got some that are like black and white stripe and we've got some that are just complete white that is like see-through like this one here as you can see and there's the black and white one we've got and that's our goldfish he's really lasted us a very long time he's been with us for long now uh, as long as I can remember uh, that's there you go look at that that's also that's a molly and um, I've only gotten one of uh, this one I haven't gotten because they said if I get two of those then they can become uh, aggressive in the tank and they could harm the guppies so look at that. so I, I don't keep uh, fish that could be become a potential danger to my guppies as well so they are all friendly fish look at that so this is a tetris that I've got guys I've also told you I've got an, an tetrises as well these are the black one mollies that I have so these ones were in my fish tank. I've just gotten some nice guppies. And remember I explained to you that that I had uh, babies in the, in the little round bowl up there. So my baby's gotten a bit big. She's swimming on that side. I'm, she's not coming this side. Both of them. I've actually let them free because they've gotten a little nice and big. Uh, so they are meant to be in the fish tank. Uh, if I just pan it a little bit, you can see the tiny one on the top. Yeah. You will notice that she'll come. There we there, there we go. So the one with the slight orange tip on it. So that's the one. So we've let her let them come uh, go into the fish tank because they were a bit big enough and they can swim with the other fish, so that's good. Um so guys, uh let's see. I'm gonna give you an update on the cockatiels outside and hope you people like my fish tank. Hi guys. So as you can see, I've just given them a nice uh, shower down. You can see Tinkerbell how she's shaking her head. And there we go. Sultan is as usually in the corner of some place. He's forever in the corner. And even though I try my best to get him in the center of the, the camera, he's just one-sided. Okay, so we're just giving them a bit of a shower down. As I said, the, the weather is beautiful and it's very nice and it's sunny. It feels like it's over 30 degrees or something. It's very hot actually. So as you can see, they're having a nice little bit of a shower down and uh, I want him... Well, he's not dancing today guys, so hopefully we'll see it in the next video. But as you can see, that's Sultan. That's Tinkerbell. And um, as you can see, I've given them new millets as well. I've completed my, my background on the... Um, as you can see behind the cages as well. I've just completed that as well. I've just... Uh, put up the peel and stick as well i've made the place uh, feel nice and cozy and um, so at least if it is the uh, the winter time as well so it will make them feel at least at home you know instead of it being very cold i've gotten some new seeds for them as well and i've just mixed in the vitamin e and uh, i've mixed them up in the seeds i first what i've done is i've put them on the stove and uh, got them nice and I've got it, uh, I've made it warm on the stove, uh, put the stove obviously I've put it on the pot and then when it got nice and warm I've removed it and I've added the vitamin E uh, capsule which I've removed the inside um, liquid and I've mixed it with my hands so um, 
it's obviously mixed throughout the whole uh, seed I make a bucket of it and I keep it for them uh, so that I'm able to feed them every single time so the vitamin E is also very good for them and it's very nutrition as well for them uh, so guys let's have a look at the other birds okay guys and as you can see these are the lovebirds and they are doing quite fine as well so I've like I've explained um, just in a, a few seconds ago that um, I've just given them the new seeds as well because um, as well as uh, giving them enough uh, vitamin as well uh, not sure why this year the breathing was a bit uh, off but anyway we will get there you know it's always a step at a time and it's always easier to make are you feeling hot? Hmm. I think so. I just need to give them a shower down as well because, as you can see, his um, his beak is just. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. I think so. He's feeling hot. Mm. So usually when it's very hot like this. Yeah, we just give them a spray down just to cool them off. You know, we don't want them being dehydrated in any form or any way. Uh, we want to look after them and obviously, you know, give them the best uh, treatment or care if they, they if, if if it is needed in any um, way as you can see the two of them they're they you know their names love bird is just matched and made for them as you can see even the way they sit it just forms a heart within them and uh, they're just together always like they can't live without each other okay guys so i'm going to give them a spray down now you know because i can see that they're feeling a bit hot i've given the rest of them a spray down uh and see how we go from there but i think so they're just a bit it's very hot at the moment and you know they are flying as well so it's uh them using the energy up as well and flying as well so let me get give them a spray down and um yeah let's see so guys i will keep an uh keep you updated and if there's any eggs which i'm aware i think so that kevin does have but uh, we'll have a look at them and then we will see and I pray and hope that uh, me taking care of them, giving them the right vitamins and minerals, it will help them to uh, breathe, uh, even if it is um, not within the summertime, but hopefully uh, we'll get some babies. Um, it is very disappointing, but guys, I'm there and I'm their family and they're my family and we have to look after each other. So guys, anyway, that's it from me and thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe and please share my videos uh, to help my videos grow. Thank you. Bye.